TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in Clearwater, Florida. It's 9 a.m. Eastern Time, 30 minutes until that opening bell. Let's check in on the markets as we're looking like it's going to be a positive open. Dow futures up 24 points currently, trading at 23,315. NASDAQ futures up 23 points as well, trading at 6247, almost four tenths of a percent there on the NASDAQ. And SP futures up about five points, or almost two tenths of a percent, trading at 2572. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the VIX. We're in double digit territory. And uh, to put things in perspective, let's pull it back a little bit. So we're up as high as. 1320 when you're looking at last Thursday. Uh, yesterday, we got a little bit of a rise, almost approaching 11. Right now, $10.01 as the market creeps higher, that VIX creeping lower. Let's jump over to the Nadex platform, check in on some of the futures markets ahead of that opening bell. S&P 500 currently trading at 2572, up off the intranight lows about four in the morning, three in the morning, hovering around 2569, up a few points from there as we wait for that opening bell. NASDAQ 100, there it is, making a charge for itself as we see the NASDAQ futures up the most of all the three major indices. NASDAQ trading, NASDAQ 100, excuse me, trading 62.47. There's Euro US dollar. In the recent week, we've seen a little bit of Euro weakening, dollar strengthening, Euro trading 116.35, bouncing around a bit in the overnight session. Crude oil above $54, $54.07. And of course, you have API numbers, inventories tonight after the closing bell, 4.30 Eastern Time. And tomorrow, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time, we'll be live on the air for those EIA numbers. There's gold trading 12.72 off of where it was about 3, 4 in the morning, about 12.78, falling off a bit. And natural gas struggling as well, currently trading 293. So what else we have going on in the markets? It's earnings season, of course. And what did we have this morning? Under Armour, struggling for sure. So Under Armour coming out and talking about forecasts for the next year are not going to be what they want. So the athletic apparel maker beat analyst estimates by $0.03 cents a share with adjusted quarterly profit of $0.22 cents per share. Revenue fell short, however, and Under Armour gave a full-year forecast well shy of street estimates. Under Armour approaching almost 20% down. Closed yesterday, $14.74 currently trading $12.50. Retail sector, it's a tough one, even for those high flyers like Under Armour. Stay tuned. We got our man Larry Pesvento coming up right now, and I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom. Then, of course, Swim Lessons, Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien, and Andy Hecht. I'll talk to you next hour, folks.